here we have a uh, five unit of 400 watt solar panels these are neptune brands on the sticker it's been rated that the uh, uh open circuit voltage is 39 volts but using my digital multimeter we got three volt extra that is around 42 to 43 volt so i'll take you guys down to see what we'll be getting down there whether we'll lose some voltage or we'll still get the same voltage that we had up here so I'll, when i go down i'll use my digital multimeter to test and see if we'll get the same thing we are getting up here down there because it's like you know 25 meters away from where the panels are to where the batteries are the connection i did here everything is in parallel the close circuit voltage is 36 volts so that will be enough to charge our 24 volt system we are down i'll still be using my digital multimeter to check the open voltage circuit before i connect it to the inverter because the inverter is a hybrid inverter which comes with a 60 amps inbuilt charge controller so i'll be testing the voltage to see if we got some losses or not because here we use 6 mm uh, cable to you know transfer the current and the voltage down to where the inverter is let's see if we use the proper cable or not so let's check out the voltage okay we just i think the weather is down or we just got some loss of about two volt or one volt probably when the sun comes up more than this we will still get our 42 volts and finally we are done with the installation of this 3.5 kV uh, system using a yokako brand and uh, two units of star plus 220 amps battery our connection here is a 24 volt system while on the roof like i said earlier we have a uh, five unit of 400 watt solar panels and the uh the, the load this house will be consuming is around 200 to 300 watts because they have just some tvs some lighting point and some fridge and this is just about 11 o'clock or 11 30 in the morning our battery is already on absorb which is a good one they are consuming about 22 percent load that's their power consumption and our battery is still charging to the absorb point which is the best thing for a solar energy system in case you have a solar energy system and you know you're a layman you don't have deep understanding of solar energy system the things you should be checking out for if uh, uh your battery do get to absorb charge when you have load on it like ours right now and like i said this is about 11 in the morning and our battery is already on, on absorb so with the five unit of 400 hour solar panels on the roof it will take our batteries about you know three hours or two hours 30 minutes to get filled and after that uh your your power consumption will be directly from the solar panels because you can select uh solar first or you select select utility first so we select solar first that means in the afternoon once the battery gets filled you'll be consuming from uh the solar panels so i'll take you around to show you just some of the things that are working from this inverter right now to show you that this is working perfectly okay this thing you are seeing and some of these lighting points are working from uh, the inverter which i just show you guys and as you can see our battery is already on absorb which is a perfect one so here is the fridge this is the regular fridge this fridge is not uh, an inverter fridge or a uh, solar fridge or whatever fridge you call it. This is a normal pair thermoco fridge which is working from uh, the inverter. So our battery is getting to absorb by 11 in the morning. 